Hi everyone, it's Paperworm <laughs> and if you clicked on this video you have probably seen by the title what it is, right? So I was thinking that, um, you know, since we cannot go out much, um, we could maybe just hang out and journal together. I cannot possibly Skype with everyone. While it sounded like a good idea at first, I noticed that, you know, I'm usually the person who is uh, listening to music all day and I'm not able to do this, obviously, when I talk to someone and somehow I don't feel like talking to people every single day. And so I think sharing a video is also okay, right? Like if you feel like it, you can watch it and if not, then, then don't, right? Okay. So I have already cut out a lot of stuff um, that I'm going to use because, you know, if I spend my time cutting things here, the video will be like an hour long. <laughs> and um, I can not share the files for those lace things because I found them randomly on the internet and I have no clue who they actually belong to or if they actually cost money. I really don't know. Okay, I... Um, I just grab what I see on Google, print it out, use it, you know, like, um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm using this journal. You, you, I showed this before. It's like a really cheap journal and sadly the quality sucks. Um, the last one I have used of this brand or this shop was good. It was nice and I really enjoyed it, but, um, well, this is uh, has different paper, a lot more rough, scratchy, I don't know. I really don't like it, but here I have a little sneak peek. <laughs> I went to the dentist, so yeah. Here's a little peek of what I have in here, and that was it already. So in order to not crack my binding, I will put um another notebook under here if you're wondering what this is this is a character journal and i'm not sure if i can flip this because it is um a yandere character journal where it means the character who's writing that journal is a lovesick individual very sick oh look this ring i'm losing it so you know <laughs> and i don't want to share uh, who which person i used as the one who the character was being in love with and stuff so i have like a lot of cutouts the reason why i'm using cutouts is because like not cutouts printouts yeah i print everything because this is a lot cheaper than buying expensive magazines and then cut out random pieces. Maybe you find only three or four images that you like, you know, and that was it. And you have a bunch of magazines that all cost a lot of money because, you know, this can stack. I mean, if you can afford it, of course, go for it, you know, but I can't. So I like to print very selective things. Mm. So, what are we doing today? <sighs> mm. A lot of people are always commenting my rings, which I find funny. Of course, I'm not wearing them today because I'm, I'm taping stuff, you know, and uh, I, you know, I'm gluing stuff. So, I feel like uh, there isn't much I can say about my rings. You, you know, I have been collecting silver rings for a long time like i usually buy once one a month if i can you know for like 15 or 20 bucks i don't know it depends on what kind of mood i am but yeah i like to collect them because i just think rings are a really nice accessory and then i have like a a bunch of those really cheap ones like um, not this they come from wish and um, I think they are called boho 
rings or boho knuckle rings or something and they usually or or this one is like a a china knockoff of like an engagement ring you know um they're really cheap and i just use them to enhance uh, the looks of my fingers obviously since this is the only thing you see it's you know when youtubers put on makeup before they go in front of the camera that's the same thing you know, since my hands are the only thing you can see i like to make them as pretty as i can most of the time you know with like fresh nail polish and everything but um not always not always um so what are we using today i was thinking about black and pink maybe i have been in this black and pink phase for a while but i have not really done anything so far okay all right i decided so, i really love lace i love lace when it comes to closing too I really love to wear like Lolita kind of stuff and um, vintage stuff like with lots of lace. I love to look like um, those old dolls. Oh, I threw something. Yeah, you know, like like the old uh, ceramic doll you would find on your attic. Yeah, that's exactly what kind of style I wish I could have. You know, but unfortunately you know everyone else is not agreeing on this um it's like every time i tell my mom about what i like she's like oh my god you're so boring you know like <laughs> she is like the 50 year old who still wears mini skirts you know and she cannot understand that i like um old uh, like old things you know and um yeah what i really like for example is also mori style if you ever heard about it it's, or forest girl style which has in, includes a lot of layering and a lot of lace you know but if i would wear this style over here people would have no um acknowledgement of that this is a style they would just think i'm like a homeless or something <laughs> so yeah Sadly, I cannot really do what I want to do. Uh, some people say, of course, you know, do what you want. Don't care about what other people think. But you're still living in a society. And you cannot completely disregard where you live. You, you know what I mean? Because imagine I would become an even bigger outcast i am already like different from everyone else by dressing all black you know and there is no one else like me in this area so people are already staring at me and i have the feeling they never treat me the same as other people you know like for example when you go into the pharmacy and you the person in front of you always gets like a lot of extras like tissue papers and um I don't know candy and uh, you, you know what have you <laughs> and and they never give me anything never I don't know why like I'm always like the friendliest person in the universe but no they they see me like uh, I think they still see me like some kind of punk or whatever and I also have a really young face so they might think I'm like a rebellious teenager so i don't get any extras you know that's just like a little tiny example i mean of course sometimes i'm asking them um you know do you have some tissue paper or whatever but um yeah just saying if i would uh, make my style even more drastic then maybe you know i would have an even harder time i just realized that i put those brown brownish flowers like they looked pink to me on the on the roll but they're brown so i think we changed something here i think we use this we make a brown and black or like a beige and 
it's not really brown but beige i have this coffee label i just cut up from my and oh it smells so good oh my gosh macadamia vanilla oh my gosh it was so nice if i would have known that all these shops are closed by now i would have bought more coffee you know like uh, i have regular coffee on mass like a lot but i really love those flavored coffees right and um i kind of feel like now tj maxx is closed and uh, you know <laughs> what i'm saying is i cannot get any new coffee with flavor so does this match eh? some people were asking me about my washi tapes if i can show them but it is really just um a drawer full of washi tapes there is no real um Well, I think I used this. Um, there's chaos, okay? If I need something, I just grab with my fingers into here until I find what I need. And that's pretty much it. And I have more washi tapes that don't fit in here. And sometimes I buy things online that look nice, but then it turns out they are totally useless. Like this one, for example. Like, the lace here is actually transparent. So, it, it may be cool if I um, put this over a dark color, but so far, I really don't know what to do with this. <laughs> Whatever. i put this away. Uh oh, go in, please. doesn't want to go back in what am i doing now ah okay okay <laughs> well those are the struggles i cannot cut out from the video because i have no fucking clue about how to do this i mean this is kind of funny actually i have worked as a camera assistant in the past and during those times i was um the person who was cutting the movies too so I actually know how to edit videos, but that was a long time ago. I was like, well, how old was I? 21 or something. And um, we used different programs that I cannot find today. Like, you know, a company has the money to pay for really expensive editing programs, you know, from like Adobe or whatever. Back in the day, we used Adobe Premiere. And... Um, well, I'm not, I, I, I'm used to, or, or what I learned is how to use that specific program, you know. And I cannot get to this program anymore because it's too expensive for me. What's that? <laughs> and, um, yeah, I don't know. The Windows Movie Maker is somehow, I don't know. I wouldn't say complicated, but I'm not sure exactly how it works. I'm using it. I have like a voice acting channel where I upload. You know, the only thing I really do is like creating a picture and using the whole audio file on that picture. And then that was it. Then the video is done, you know. But uh, I cannot, I don't really know if I'm able to cut real videos and make like intros and whatnot. Probably if I, um, if I would ever decide to learn it, it would be possible, but I have no interest in it. You know, I'm really lazy. Or lazy is not even cutting it. I mean, you all know that I have depression problems and depression means you are drained of all your energy so there are many days where i don't even have the energy to journal even though i love to journal you know but i don't know anyway <laughs> what i'm saying is i don't know if you will ever get any more you know like 
uh, higher quality videos for me. Probably not. I'm kind of satisfied the way things are right now. Because um, I don't need a bigger audience. I'm kind of happy the way everything is. And um, I don't need to become a professional. You know, when you have a big audience, you get problems. There are always crazy people. I had already this online stalker before. Also a fan of mine. And um, the more you present yourself and the more the people are watching your videos, the more psychos you could potentially find or could find you. Sometimes it's good to have a small audience of a few hundred people, you know, that you know and that you can converse with on a regular basis. I like this more. It feels more intimate. You know everyone, you know, you also watch their videos and yeah, I find this a lot better. Look, there's a piece of dust in my coffee. Oh, my throat was so dry. So I cannot really tell you much about what I'm also like my journaling setup is different. Normally, like I don't have I have a little bit more space here. And usually I'm also listening to creepypasta or, well, it depends. No? Sometimes when I really have something to say, I cannot listen to anything except for like, let's say, um, piano music or something. Because English music with my German writing would, um, you know, crash in my brain and confuse me. <laughs> so... Um, there's like some little tiny things that stand away from this washi tape. It was really poorly cut. Well, it was really cheap from China, so I shouldn't complain. I put this away on the other side. So yeah, I have printed already a lot of stuff. Wait, 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 wait. I... <laughs> I jump from one topic to the next, you know, without thinking. So I'm not even sure what I was uh, I w what I was sharing here. I was just sharing. I don't do anything special. I drink coffee. I write. I'm not even sure what to write today. I really just wanted to hang out a little bit, and because I feel like I feel lonely, you know. I'm a really lonely person. Not only isolated and physically alone but also very lonely on the inside. And I kind of feel like mm, when you guys are like commenting on my videos, I feel like, a, like I'm a part of the community, you know? I like it. I like it. <laughs> Even though I'm really introvert, but talking to someone online is not a problem for me. Mm. My journal's name is Eric, as you know. It comes from Eric Draven of The Crow. Because when I was 14, it was my favorite show. And I always watched it at night with my mom. <laughs> once a week. And, um, oh my god, I was so in love with him. It was actually the TV show where Mark Dacascos played the role of Eric Draven. And I had this classmate that I was crushing on. And he was also from like half Asian you know and they looked very similar and uh, I don't know it was a nice time <clears throat> but um the the name Eric or my journal Eric it became its own entity or maybe I could say my journal friend or my the one I confine in if that makes any sense. So I never changed that name. The name is always the same in every single... It's like as if I'm writing letters to a person. I'm always... Uh, I'm also writing stuff like, how are you? Or 
you wouldn't believe what just happened or I really have to tell you something today or can you believe it? Like I'm writing it as a letter always, you know, which is maybe different from what other people do. I pretend my journal is my friend and I'm telling him stories about my life. You know, so this is one big key difference in my journaling. Yeah. I'm not sure like what you think about it, but you know, I just like it because it's, it's like my journal has a personality, like it's a person, you know, for me, kind of, I know it's just a journal, but it means something to me. Like I also had made it into, um, I made him into um what's the word an imaginary friend when i was younger when i was 14. i was very alone at this time even though i was still living with my family but you know there was some abuse happening and i felt like i needed an escape in my mind so i created this um well this being you know that would always uh, watch over me so this whole thing did not just become a journal name, but a whole entity on its own, you know? Of course, he, he looks like the crow, right? Because he is based on the crow. That's the reason why you sometimes see pictures of the crow in my journals. Yeah. I don't know if anything makes sense, but I have a ton of imaginary friends. And yeah. I'm pretty much imagining that I'm never alone. Not only do I put sometimes pictures on my screen and pretend like I have cam chats with certain people, like certain fantasy individuals, but I also imagine some are sitting on my bed right now, some are sitting on my sofa right now, you know, like in my brain, I'm never really alone. And <laughs> this is something that I never really shared before. But I think this is like some kind of protection mechanism, because if I felt completely alone and isolated, my depression would worsen. So I try to protect myself when I imagining that I'm not alone, you know, that people are with me and stuff. I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever. But <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I have a cat, but the cat is not a person, you know, as much as I love her, she cannot really like, I cannot really have deep conversations with her. So I have those in my fantasy with other people that don't exist, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I don't know. Should I just stop the video and delete it? Or should I just keep going? I don't know. Let's just keep going. I mean, it's not like, you know. I didn't tell you a secret that I need to be ashamed of. It is just, I'm just weird. So, um, what do we write about? Oh yeah. I'm really sad that TJ Maxx is closed <laughs> and I cannot get more coffee. I wonder when they're going to be open again. It would probably take a while. <laughs> I'm sad that TJ Maxx is closed and that I can't buy coffee with aroma <laughs> yeah i i got so much used to them i cannot even drink normal coffee anymore it's too boring for me So instead of a journal with me video, it was basically just Danny talks too much and you have to listen type of video, right? 
but you know i get so many questions sometimes like ever since i started this channel i there are lots of people like there are always new people tuning in who are seeing my videos for the first time so i get the same questions over and over like what journal supplies do you use can you show us your pens and your stickers you know or those type of things and there's not really anything to show this is basically the only pen i'm using every single day i just refill it and then i keep writing you know <laughs> like i have maybe a lot of pens but the colored pens i'm just using if i use if i have to or if there's a reason to use them you know like there's n i cannot really show you my favorite pen collection or anything because i don't have that this is the only fountain pen i use <laughs> so yeah question answered um But I kind of miss those old videos, you know, like, like I, I still have my old videos from my old channel. I downloaded them all before they were deleted and I have some funny videos in there, like how to hide my journal. <laughs> it's funny because, you know, since I'm an adult, I don't have to hide and I never did hide anything. If my parents would have looked into my journal, they would have been traumatized. So. I didn't care, you know, and gladly they never took a look. So, I mean, they traumatized me, so it would have been fair to traumatize them in return, right? But <sighs> whatever. I kind of feel like the those type of uh, I give you advice type of videos, like they kind of were funny. But back in the day, I was still showing my face, which I don't anymore. Because some old classmates found my channel and I don't even know how that happened. I never shared this on Facebook. You know, like, I'm only on, like, this private journaling Facebook, uh, Facebook group, which no stranger should be able to see. And, uh, yeah... I actually don't use Facebook much. I log in once a day, that's that's true, but only to look for memes. So I, I can share them and I print them and that's pretty much it. No, I, um, I'm not a social media freak. I'm only looking into Instagram twice a day, maybe, maybe sometimes just once. And that's it. What's the time? 27. Let's write something, because I have to stop this video soon. Um, Can you hear the scratching? <laughs> the paper is so scratchy. But you know, the problem is this journal has like 400 pages. If I, if I abandon it right now, well, that would suck, right? And I was coming to the conclusion that I don't have to do it, you know? I don't have to abandon it. I write in here once a day, maybe two to four pages okay i'm not right i'm not forced to write all day into here so i cannot really say this thing is torturing me all day you know i just write one entry and then i put it away and i can pretty much live with the scratchy paper right now i don't really care right now i don't want to abandon it because then i have to take out all the pages put them somewhere else and i really don't want to I just keep it. I I just deal with it, you know. Actually, my mom was able to buy toilet paper 
yesterday morning like if you if you are a store it's like usually the stores in germany they have those special offer days right where they get like a certain product or a certain line of products into their store on those days you have to go very early like like i don't know when it opens seven or eight or nine and be like one of the first customers you know this is when you find toilet paper <laughs> yeah the thing is like this is the time where i usually go to bed you know so <laughs> i i have a really hard time to go to the store at this time of the day but um yeah my mom is an early bird so she is basically um every time she goes she brings one package home because you can only buy one and she's slowly building up you know so when if i need something i can go to her and get something <laughs> which is really good like we we are only meeting up at the front door you know and she i'm like handing her like a bag and she hands it back and fills it you know like it's kind of funny it's weird though the dentists are still open and i i go on monday it's really important if they close now i would be fucked or i guess i would be like in pain for the next eight to twelve weeks or so and i wouldn't want this um. it's kind of weird now i was watching the um corona situation in in china for a long time since since Jan um not january december already but i never have thought because i thought this is so far away on and um we have such a good um health care system we have lots of good medication it would never happen in my country like this you know like i did buy face masks and like latex gloves and hand sanitizer and canned food in january because i was kind of paranoid but i did not prepare on a big scale i only prepared for like two weeks you know but as you can see two weeks is not enough because if you are not supposed to leave your house for the next 10 weeks or so you need supplies you know and now people are rushing to the stores and this is maybe where they infect each other because everyone wants to stock up everyone wants to hoard you know and then there are too many people in stores or in front of the stores whatever <laughs> and who would have known you know that the US would become like the second hotspot after Italy I I didn't imagine it Germany closed its borders and um like gave this uh, the contact the, the distance rules way too late Belgium was really good Belgium did act really quick and really harsh and I wish Germany did too but they didn't we also have like I don't know 40,000 infected or something yeah every single day I note down the numbers here so like when I started this journal no we had like 20,000 infected here 23 and here it's like 40 43 you know so yeah who knows where this will end or if i will become one of them at some point you know i really don't want to but because i don't really want to end up in a hospital if i just get mild symptoms and i have to stay home that's you know i can handle this but if i see like hospitals are now overcrowded and people have to go into like army tents and stuff i really don't want to end up there you know I really don't.
a few days ago they were still telling us our hospitals are still free so they are taking in corona patients from other countries and now our hospitals are overcrowded and people are dying already you know so this is how fast things go it's crazy uh, but anyway i'm just um i guess i stopped the video now <laughs> i will just um decorate the next pages and and then i will like have some uh, quiet time for writing yeah thank you all for watching and hanging out i hope i answered most of the questions that people had and um yeah if you can stay home stay safe wash your hands and so on i don't have to mention it everyone is already on guard but um i hope no no one of you that i know personally is ending up in a hospital you know i really don't want to imagine it that would be horrible so yeah bye bye